Tritium reference turntable. Let's start with the plinth here. These uh, 1.25 inch aluminum, 18 by 14 and a half inches. In the center, you'll notice there's a gap. It includes this stuff called isodamp, which is very dense. It's a constrained mode damping system. And it's also used on the platter in between these layers, as you can see, providing additional damping. So the layers on the turntable are copper, brass, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Um, the platter, I haven't weighed it. It's probably about 65, 70 pounds, something like that. Motor base is uh, one inch brass with a 3 16 aluminum top plate, adjustable feet. Same thing with these, you just grab these here and you can adjust it with full weight on it just with the tip of your fingers. Brass weight with a nylon insert. The uh, platter bearing is a one inch tool steel hardened. It's around a Rockwell 75 D scale maybe, something like that. It's what we call ball bearing hard. And uh, tone arm of course is completely adjustable front to back, side to side. All these pieces can be moved. This viscous damp trough here operates by using this paddle. Uh, raise and lower tone arm. Swing tone arm out to put record on. Vertical tracking ang angle right here. You're able to adjust it on the fly. It turns out that VTA is more important as the stylus wears because that setting becomes more critical. Um, air is supplied here through some surgical tubing. Uh, this all comes out, you just loosen this up and this lifts right, you can take this right out of there and inspect and grease and what have you. We just use uh, lithium grease usually. This is a 38.8 inch belt like you would find on a Troubadour Empire. Uh, base comes with it, it's half inch aluminum, powder coated. Uh, what else are we looking at? Oh, the uh, tone arm, of course, is the same length as a, the cutting head that made the record to begin with. And one of the features of this turntable is the platter is not flat. It has a bowl to it. There's an angle here. I can't remember anymore. It's been so long. I think it's 35 thousandths or 17, I think it's 35. It's just enough so that when you put the label of the album here and you put this record weight on it, it clamps it in and removes all the warps. This will track the worst warps anyway, but why have them there to begin with? You know, the amount of angle that introduces is inconsequential to the groove size. So we've been using it like this for, I don't know, 25, 30 years, something like that. The uh, manifold here, there's just enough space in between these Allen screws and the threads to let a small amount of air out of here. When you measure the pressure here, we run it anywhere between three to seven pounds per square inch, something like that. Uh, you can run it up to 15, 20. It doesn't seem to make a difference in the sound. I'm sure it wouldn't just because of this fluid damping. This fluid damping is that changes everything. You can run it without the fluid damping. We've done this several times where you put it all together and we listen to it for a couple of days without the fluid damping. And when you put the fluid damping in, it's an eye popper. You're just, you know, it's, it's a level of improvement that you have never experienced with analog before. So let's uh, take a look around the bottom of this thing here. And uh, here we have, this is the surge tank and the compressor. Uh, this is a 
can't remember the name right now. Uh, box is over there. These are really nice compressors, very quiet, it's very heavy too. But you can have this five feet away and you pretty much cannot hear it at five feet. Uh, there's a, we have an extra motor that's available. Here's the stand for it. It's a huge motor. I'll take some pictures of that so you can see what that's about. Underneath the turntable, we can see the adjustable feet and the amount of clearance that you have. And this is actually backwards. This is supposed to be in the back. I reassembled, I assembled it the wrong way. Okay, the stand goes with it. Can't remember what this is called anymore. T channel or something like that. It's really nice. It's very accurate. Oh, attaches together with a bunch of Allen screws. It's good stuff. All right, let's take some photographs now.